Hi everyone, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty and PersonalLiberty.com. And this commentary is about government employees, the true 1%. How did America become broken and solvent? How did we build up an unimaginable $150 trillion in debt and unfunded liabilities? How did we allow the American dream to become a nightmare? All we need to do is look at the primary demand that the Eurozone and the International Monetary Fund are placing on Greece to get their new $170 billion bailout. Greece has agreed to cut 150,000 government employees. And even in Cuba, they're cutting 2 million government employees to save Cuba from bankruptcy. The truth is that government employees are the true 1%. We have far too many of them in America, 21 million, and they're paid far too much. And their union demands are straining taxpayers to the breaking point. They've become a privileged class that expects to be treated superior to taxpayers who pay their salaries and pensions. And it's their obscene pensions that's the big problem. How would you like to retire with $6 million, $8 million, $10 million? All you have to do is become a government employee to hit the jackpot. Don't believe me? Do the math. I talked with a retired toll taker. His salary averaged $70,000 per year over 20 years. But in the last few years, he worked lots of overtime, added in sick days to get his final salary up to $150,000. His pension is based on that final salary. He bragged he will now get a taxpayer-funded pension of $120,000 a year for the rest of his life. He's 50 years old. If he lives to around 80, which is the life expectancy of a 50-year-old male, with automatic cost of living increases, that's a bill to taxpayers over the next 30 years of $5 million, three times more than he earned while working. And of course, we're also paying his medical bills. No country, no budget, no taxpayers anywhere in the world can afford this. Ask Greece. But here's a frightening question. What if he lives to 90 or 100? His pension could rise to eight to $10 million. Multiply this times 21 million government employees and you now get a sense of what is bankrupting America. In Las Vegas, Clark County, Nevada, the average firefighter earns just under 200,000 a year. When he retires at 45 or 50 years old, we owe his pension based on that obscene salary. But here's the clincher. When he finally dies, the taxpayer has to continue paying his pension to his spouse till she dies. Add up the damage to the economy, and it's catastrophic. Talk about a one percenter. An average firefighter will pick up eight to $10 million for the rest of his life for not working. But lest you argue a firefighter, a policeman, or a teacher is a hero, recent studies prove the average janitor that works for government make 600,000 more in their career than a private sector janitor. Three stories on the same day in this past Sunday's Las Vegas newspaper sum up this national outrage. Let's start with the Las Vegas Teachers Union. It was reported that more than a third of the union's entire annual budget <clears throat> went to pay just nine union leaders. The union executive director was paid $632,000 for the year while well, the CEO of the Teachers Health Union was paid $546,000. So next time someone says to you, we need to spend more for the kids, you know that's not the truth. It's for the union hacks. Bernie Madoff has nothing on the government employee union scam. Article number two in Sunday's Las Vegas Review Journal was about those $199,000 per year firefighters. It turns out they also abuse sick leave, rigged work schedules to pump up their pensions, and appear to have engaged in widespread disability fraud. About half of all Clark County firefighters retired with work-related injuries, and they got bonuses averaging $320,000 apiece in addition to their obscene pensions. Is that also for the kids? Article number three in Sunday's paper was about a now-retired Las Vegas homicide detective and possible police brutality. It had nothing to do with pensions. But interestingly, the retired detective they quote in the story is 47 years old. He's 47 and he retired last year. We're going to be paying him five to $10 million till the day he dies for not working. Is that for the kids? These aren't CEO types. These are average government employees retiring with the equivalent of five to $10 million. These are the true one percent privileged class that are bankrupting our country and destroying our once great economy. Something's very wrong here. Do you know any small business owners who retire with five to $10 million? They're few and far between. And when we retire, we have no pension. We have to live in what we saved after 40 years of risking our own money to start a business and working 16 hour days, weekends, birthdays, holidays, 
No one has a right to complain. Small business owners don't cost taxpayers a dime. But government employees are paid millions by taxpayers to retire early, often on pensions fattened by gaming the corrupt system. They are the true 1%. This is the national disgrace that's bankrupting America, and the goal of this scam would make Bernie Madoff blush. But hey, it's for the kids. I'm Wayne Allen Root. This has been my commentary for Personal Liberty at personalliberty.com. We'll see you next week.